Hi, welcome back to Biographies. I hope you're sharing these with your friends. That's the only way people are going to know about what we're doing. If you let your friends know. I've already let all my friends know. So now it's your turn. Today I want to tell you the story about a preacher named Bathina Samuel Raju in India. He's married at the time of this uh, application was received, which was 2011. They already had two children, a son and a daughter. I would suspect by now they have more. Uh, they're a young couple, young, handsome couple. Uh, he says, I'm serving as a pastor in a backward area. There are some rich and strong devotees of the god Krishna here. My family is a political one and became the leader of the town. From my childhood, I hated Christians and used to, per used to persecute them. There was one school teacher in my village who was a Christian, and I used to give him trouble. They always feared my terrible deeds. Poor and low-class people turn into Christians. That's what I thought. I used to tear up the tracts and the literature they gave me. I became a rough boy and the villagers feared me. Once I tried to set on fire the Christian van distributing the tracts in her village. After some months, I fell ill and was admitted to the hospital in a neighboring town. My parents spent much money on me, but the doctor said I was hopeless. I had a viral fever that is quite prevalent in our villages. Finally, I was dismissed from the hospital and taken home. I was unconscious, and many villagers saw me that way. The Christian teacher came to my house and convinced my parents to let him pray for me. Since nothing else worked, they agreed, and on the second day I opened my eyes but could not see or speak. On the third day they prayed for me, and Jesus gave me strength to speak. My family was glad and began to pray and to praise Jesus. I also came to know all this and accepted Jesus. I was admitted to the Bible school and began preaching And when I had finished my schooling. This is an idol-worshipping village of the river goddess, and witnessing there was hard. May God, but, but God heard my repeated prayers, and now I'm able to win some souls to Jesus. Please pray for me. This brother has led 312 souls to Christ. Now, we got his application in 2011, so he hadn't been a believer that long. But uh, of that, he's baptized 209. But you know what the amazing thing is? This first church he went to, this or first village he went to to start a church, is a village where they worship the river goddess. So it's right on a village. And the people there who are coming to Christ have gone from worshiping the goddess of the river to being baptized in that same river to publicly profess their faith in Jesus Christ. Isn't that incredible? He's evangelized 28 villages like this and has already started seven churches. As I say, he's a young couple. They look like they've got their act together. Happy, uh, young family, doing a great job for the Lord. I hope you'll take time to look at his... Um, his page, see what more you can learn about him and pray specifically for him. Uh, if you follow the link at the bottom of the video, you'll easily get there. And then be sure, as I said, and share this story with others. Thanks so much.